now that we have our original forecast, we have the ability to start making changes to understand the relative effects on your forecast of changing elements of your plan. If last year, you did not run a 100% TV campaign, but instead ran a campaign that was a 10% YouTube, you can reflect that by changing the comparison and the total budget. You have the ability to understand the incremental reach of a campaign containing the optimal TV and YouTube spend mix, compared to a campaign containing 10% YouTube and 90% TV. After a second, you can see the revised forecasts and comparisons. You also have the ability to change your on-target reach or TRP to your total campaign goals. At this point, you also have the ability to change your forecast from reflecting reach against people reached just one time by your campaign. Select one plus on-target reach and change it to the minimum effective frequency required by your brand in order to have effect on your customers. One thing that we'll note here is that the calculation of the optimal split will give you the ability to optimize towards 1+, plus, 2+, plus, 3+, plus, 4+, plus, and more reach. You have the ability to click Edit on an individual YouTube campaign in order to add more Google audiences like affinity and in-market audiences or settings to only your YouTube campaign. Here, you can add a frequency cap, a Google audience, etc. Be mindful that layering Google audiences on top of the existing plan is expected to reduce your reach. The ability to add a frequency cap for an individual campaign is going to boost the reach that you're going to see from YouTube and minimize the frequency. Only YouTube has the ability for you to add a frequency cap. That is the maximum number of times people are exposed to the campaign. If you want to optimize towards reach, adding a frequency cap is the best way to do this. If you want to increase frequency, just remove the frequency cap. Now the last thing to note is the ability to save and download a plan. You can click Save Plan and this will give you the ability to name your plan. In this case, I'm going to name it My Plan and click Save. At any point in time, you have the ability to exit Reach Planner by clicking X at the top left corner and you can see that your plan has been saved right there. All you have to do is click on it and reload in order to understand the historical forecast that you achieved in your plan for reach and frequency. If you want to add comparison capabilities back, just click Refresh Forecast. When you refresh the forecast, the forecast is subject to change because the YouTube measurement data we use to create the most accurate forecast updates over time. We are trying to forecast for how many people watch YouTube and TV, and so that is inherently somewhat variable. For more information on how to get access to Reach Planner and how to adjust and save your plan, see the link in the description below the video.